Uh, over 50 years ago, we established the industry. And what's happened in the last five, six, even four years is just, I think, uh, is more than what we did in 50 years. It's amazing. So why do you think that is? Because of the talent, because of uh, social media, what's happened uh, that's brought uh, Israel to the world and the world to Israel because of the young, these young Turks as you call them, that have come up over the last few years that have, uh, and it's, ta it's talent, it's technology. We have the most amazing crews in Israel and we can do things in Israel for one-tenth of the cost of doing it anywhere in the world and the quality is not only the same but even better. Uh, there's nothing that we can that, that we can do in Israel that can be done in Hollywood, and the stories are also what is what is changing. Okay, Aniba, the stories you know it's all about stories, and the stories we have coming out of Israel because of the variety of of uh, the people, you know we have we have uh, uh, communities from over 60 places in the world. So it's not as homogeneous as it is here. And the stories are fascinating. And you see the results, so. When are you gonna be on the show? Oh, <laughs> where are we? Wait, we gotta ask, we gotta ask this guy over here. You've got a great face. <laughs> That's what you have to ask him. Yeah. But uh, it's hard for Mike to go incognito as a uh, I don't think I can be a. Uh, you can play an American. You can I can't. Play an American who's got. Like, an American terrorist. Let's just write a part <laughs> for him. Let's write a part for this. I can guy be an American Florida. terrorist. But uh, no, it, uh, we're very proud of these guys. Very proud. And my film, by the way, is very similar in the message that is being sent here uh, of cooperation, of working together. And that's what we've been doing, what we did in Azimuth as well. So, um, how do you describe it, Azimuth? Azimuth uh, is a film about uh, taking a different choice, making a different choice in what we've been living up till now. Uh, and the choice has to be uh, on the other side. Uh, it's a choice of nonviolence. They've tried everything else, it hasn't worked. We've uh, managed to do it with our neighbors, with Egypt, and uh, the reason is because they chose a different way. They have to make that choice. And the message basically is uh, we have to cooperate in order to survive. Uh, we, ha we can't do it alone. They can't and we can't. But there's a, a common belief or misconception that, that Israel is responsible for the Palestinian rejections of all the peace offers. Those are people who don't know history. They simply don't know their history. Let them go back and study uh, history and they'll see that they, they simply don't know the reality of what happened. You know, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. I had a feeling if I didn't push your hand, you would have forgotten. Is that right? Tell me the truth.